Hi, this is a typical question where we have to prove a particular summation gives a certain value using standard results for sigma r and sigma r squared. In this example then, we had to show that the sum of r plus 1 times r plus 4, r going from 1 to n, equaled n over 3 times n plus 4 times n plus 5. Now, what we do, just in case there were any problems, is first of all, just expand the two brackets, as I've done here, and we're summing all of this, so make sure you do leave it still in brackets. Then we can take individual sums of each one of those terms. So for the first one, then we've got the sum of r squared. Here, when you've got a constant times r, you can bring the constant out of the summation. Should be familiar with that particular result. And for 4, remember that you're doing 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 n times over. So it's the same as 4 times the sum of 1 going from r equals 1 to n, which is going to be 4 times n, as you can see here. But we pick up on the standard results for sigma r squared and sigma r. Sigma r squared is this result here, n over 6 times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. And for sigma r, it is n over 2 times all of n plus 1. So it's just a question of just substituting those results in. Now, what I've done next is knowing that we had to show that it was n over 3 on the outside, I decided to force n over 6, okay, at the front here, okay. So doing that meant that if we pull that out as a factor, then we've got n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 on that first term. Next, because we've got the 2 down there, I'm going to need to times top and bottom by 3. So that's going to give me 5 times 3, the 15 here, 15 times the n plus 1. And then we've got 6 times the 4, giving me the 24. Remember, we pulled out the n as a common factor. Then you can see I've expanded this, okay, looked at the n squared terms, we've got 2n squared there, the only n squared term. For n terms, we've got 1n plus another 2n, that's 3n, plus another 15n there, giving me 18n. And then for the constants, we've got 1 here, plus 15, plus the 24, which comes to 40. And then I've just divided top and bottom by 2. And you can see that takes us to n over 3, and then n squared plus 9n plus 20. And that factorizes to n plus 4 times n plus 5 there. OK, so hopefully you can see your way through that question then. OK?